everyone. Today I'm continuing the wanderings on Gran Canaria and more exactly in the capital, Las Palmas. And we are gonna visit this little castle. It's called Castillo de la Luz or the Castle of the Light in English. And it is the oldest building or oldest castle on the whole island. Today it's used as a cultural center. It is in the keeping of the Martin Chirino Foundation, who was a local artist. I've come in because it's very noisy on the street. There's some beautiful trees, very large ones, to the right with some impressive roots. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm gonna try and look them up. There's another two there. And there's a nice statue here. But I want to show you what's on the left. A pretty little rose garden with a small water fountain. And the roses are blooming. It's an absolutely beautiful sight. And lots of different colors. Now we have a good view of the castle here. As you can see, it's a fairly small one. And as I said, it's the oldest. They started building it in um, 1494, if I remember correctly. Obviously, this is not how it looked at that time. Uh, it was reconstructed several times because at the beginning they used a lot of wood, which burned down many times. <laughs> so, as every castle through history, it had many faces and reconstructions, but I, I really like the look of it. And I like it that something that used to be involved in battles and fights and whatever else today is a place of art and beauty I wanted to have a look at some of the roses there's a pale purple pink one and I just spotted these two little houses they look to me like they are cat houses by the shape of the cutout. They have water and rugs, but nobody's home. You can see there's food and everything. Oh, nice. And some more roses. <laughs> and back to the castle. I think I'm gonna go to the other side of it before I go in so you can see it all the way around if it's possible okay i just spotted this commemorative uh, inscription on this rock which if i'm understanding correctly is in memory of those who fought and fell at um, a battle against since uh, sir francis drake in 1595 and uh, yeah cool I didn't know about it, so I don't know a lot about the history of the island, but there you go. Everybody wanted a piece of this beautiful island. There are some more roses here. A small cafe with a nice little terrace. And more roses on this side. It's just the light is funny. And some little water fountain and I can see some beautiful hibiscus flowers there, so let's go see. Refreshing, beautiful. Flowers are fairly large. They're larger than my palm. Gorgeous. This is on the other side. That exit is closed because there's massive roadworks going on literally about three quarters around the park. 
you have to walk around to get in. And here we can see the other side of the castle. Pretty. And this is the bit which tells us that in 1478, the 24th of June, Captain Juan Rejon disembarked on the uh, beaches of uh, Isleta and founded the city. Um, if you're interested to read up a little bit on it, you can always find more information on Wikipedia. But before the Spanish came, the island had its own inhabitants that lived here for some time, who were originally probably from the lower end and western end of the Sahara, Berber people. And they lived here happily until the Spanish came. And after the Spaniards, many others tried to come and take over the island, as you've seen, Francis Drake, the Dutch, and others. But it stayed as part of Spain. One more. <laughs> And the view from here as well. And I'm gonna start walking in. I really don't like this ugly, rusty metal thing they put around it. <laughs> it completely ruins the feel of it. Anyway, um, there's an exhibition of the um, artist I mentioned. I think there's 25 bits, pieces of art. <laughs> And I don't know what they are. I believe there's a small uh, fee to pay. I think it's four euros to get in. And I hope they will let me film inside. I assume this is one of them. His works all over the island and Spain, and I have no idea if they're somewhere else in the world as well. But let's go and see. <coughs> okay. Now we can see you from here as well. So we've almost seen it all the way around. Okay, I get, got the ticket from there and now they told me to come back here because this is where the exhibition is. So let's go and see. This is the bit where they could throw stones on your head and now it has video cameras and stuff okay okay this bit is called the patio de armas and it was an important part because from here they had to defend everything properly because from here it was access to the rest of the castle. So let's have a peek if we can. Okay, there is a sculpture in there, but there's glass, you can't go in, so you can just have a peek. Okay, I'm struggling with the glass. There's another thing inside there, but it doesn't show properly. Okay, this is one of the important pieces. I've seen copies of this that they sell as jewelry. It's called El Viento de la Fajana. I'm not quite sure what Fajana is, but the other bit is the wind. Okay, this is part of the original first tower built in 1594, I think I said, during the reign of uh, Queen Isabel I. This is another one of his arts, El Viento Solomono. Part of the outer wall. And there's another one of the sculpture. Okay, that's the bit I saw from behind the glass when I entered. So you can see it through this little door thing. These two dome things are called Mi Patria e Sonaruka. My country is a rock. Okay, 
that's a cool one a peephole type thing where they could look out and see what's going on going up a level and there's a very funky installation here it's called a poetic and useless tool make what you want of it okay we can see some bits better from up here I'm gonna go up there there's another one of those where they could peek out and not be shot <laughs> only probably by a very good sniper which they didn't really have it in those times okay at least we can see the thickness of the wall I think this artist might have had a wind obsession, <laughs> as most do. Spiral something. The theme continued. And another one, but this is inspired Sisyphus. The pointlessness of doing stuff. And one more look from here. Sophisticated window. There's three of his art pieces here. Now well, let's look down. In this room, there's some that are made out of wood, I think. And there's a little documentary about his life very similar and about how he did his art. And there's a hidden one here. from this side as well okay that's it with the visit of the Castillo de la Luz um, I believe the top part used to be opened in the past but they told me that now it's closed for safety reasons and those of you who watch my videos know how much I like to climb up to the top of towers and whatever is possible so that's a shame I would have liked to see over Las Palmas from up there but it's not possible okay I'm gonna end with the view from here and there's the palm trees of course in the background and I think I'm just gonna go sit down on the terrace and have a cold drink because <laughs> it's quite warm so right I hope you enjoy this and if you like historic bits and stuff I have filmed several other interesting ones in different parts of Spain so make sure you look them up have a good day everyone